One of the things that I always do when I am setting up a Drupal site is I try and install all my modules right at the beginning. Now, sometimes that doesn't work as the things change and as project updates come about. But one of the great tools that we have available to us is Drush. Drush is a Drupal-specific command line tool that allows you to do a lot of site setup and maintenance from the command line. Depending on your setup, Drush may not be available to you. There's more information at drupal.org slash project slash drush. If you're working on a web host or on your own LAMP, WAMP, or MAMP setup, you'll need to install Drush in order to do this part of the course. Now, that's not necessary. You can just install these modules manually, and I have a list coming up, but Drush is an amazing tool. I encourage you to really take a hard look at it. For Drupal 8, you need Drush 8 as well. And here are some of the useful commands. Drush space cron runs cron. DL downloads a module. EN enables the module. DIS disables a module. PM uninstall uninstalls a module. UP shows the update information and allows you to run updates if you want. If you've been using Drush before, you'll remember CC all was the clear cache command. Well, cache rebuild now clears the cache. PM dash list lists all the modules and themes on your site and user dash login gives you a one-time login for user number one. Here's the modules we're going to install with Drush. We're going to do more later, but just to get us started down the path of Drush goodness, I thought we'd install six modules. Path Auto, Token, Simple Google Map, which gives us a Google Map from a one-line text field, Add to Any, Scheduler, which allows us to schedule our content, and Devel. And of course, there's a lot more modules that you might want to install as you're building your site. The Drush script to install those six modules looks like this. Drush DL, Path Auto, Token, Simple, Underscore, GMAP, Add to Any. Scheduler-8.x-1.x-dev, and I'll show you why that looks like that in a moment, and then Devel. Then we'll enable it with another script in just a moment. All right, let's take a quick peek at why Scheduler needs that extra bit of information. So I'm over here at drupal.org slash project slash scheduler, and you'll notice at the time of this recording, there isn't a Drupal 8 version in the green. Drush usually looks for what's in the green, and if it doesn't find it, it fails. But if you specify the version you want to download, it will go and grab it for you. All right, let's go and run that script in Drush and see how cool it is. Go ahead and open a terminal window and log into your site. And that'll bring up a terminal window. And if you look at the path, users, Rod Martin, sites, dev desktop, D8SB, confirm that you're in the right directory. And from here, it's really simple. Go ahead and type this in. Drush DL path auto token simple underscore GMAP add to any. Now check which version of scheduler you might need to get. By the time you take this class, this will have changed. You might just be able to put scheduler in Again, if scheduler is here in the green. And then lastly, devel, and of course, separated by commas. Hit return. Drush is going to run out to drupal.org and start downloading all of those modules. There we go. Now you'll also see that they are downloaded to path auto token simple underscore gmap add to any scheduler. And the devel project contains several modules web profiler, kint, devel node access, devel generate, and devel. So when we turn these on, we need to make sure that we turn on the ones we want. You'll also notice that these names are the project machine names, not the project names. The easiest way to get the machine name for any project is just to look in the URL. So for simple Google Maps, it's simple underscore GMAP, not simple Google Maps. All right, now to turn these on, all I do is type drush en for enable, path auto token, simple underscore gmap add to any scheduler without the version number. And then you might have noticed the Devel project has five modules. We're going to turn two of them on, Devel and Devel Generate. When I hit Enter, it's going to tell me that the following projects have unmet dependencies. Path Auto requires C tools. So this doesn't always happen, but in this case, because Chaos Tools is so prominent, it does. I just need to say yes to download C tools, and it will tell me that the project contains three modules, ctools views, ctools block, and ctools, and then the following extensions. I'm just going to press yes. And in just a matter of moments, 
Drush is going to tell me that all of those modules have been turned on and permissions have been set correctly. There's also messages after each module about any configuration issues I might want to take a look at. Those are marked by status messages. Now, I've taken my time explaining this as we went. One of the things that I have is a pre-built Drush script that installs all the modules I would normally use on a site. There's about 10 or 15 of them. And literally, it takes less than a minute for me to install and enable all of the modules that I would normally use on a site using Drush. Let's just go and confirm that all of those were installed and turned on. Click Extend. And if I scroll down, I'm going to see Chaos Tools, Simple Google Maps, Add to any Path Auto Scheduler token. Yes, all of them were installed. Congratulations, if this is the first time you've used Drush, you've just now opened your world to a much, much faster workflow for getting your site set up.